and chill ladies, my name is Jack Set the Guy and welcome back to Subnoshes. How are we doing, Sam? Wait, wait, no, do another one. You can't just do a high five. There you go, thanks. It keeps me going in the morning. Also, my kitty, mwah, there. You gotta give them a little smooch before you go. So, I am taking this off the wall. I know, crazy plan. It's gonna make sense in a second, even though I explained my plans last time. I still have all the materials for it, so what I'm doing is putting it into my big baby Maria over here. What's up, girl? How you doing? You doing good? I hope this is still a thing I can do. Welcome aboard, Captain. Because the, the best thing... One of the best things about the uh, submarine, about Maria, is that she comes with built-in storage. So I have a lot of lockers already there. I can build more and just technically never need Henry ever again. That's the, that's the end goal. To never ever need Henry again. To just be able to put all my stuff into this and then go, What are you? No vehicle dock. You have a vehicle thing here? Whoa, that's cool. Oh, you shoot the decoys. I thought I just shot them myself. Ooh, I have an upgrade module for you. Oh, I shouldn't go anywhere yet. Ooh, very nice. Yes, okay. And there's a fire extinguisher on board. Very nice. So. This thing has always been here. This little, like, circle thing. That was never there before. And I got a uh, blueprint to be able to get a creature decoy. I didn't know that I needed to shoot them from this thing. Uh, interior modules. This bad boy. Yeah! Okay, I have you centered right now. Maybe not the best idea, because, well, I'm gonna put some stuff over here as well. So this will be, like, my, my manufacturing station in here. And the goal is to get enough power cells. I'll put you back in so I don't have space here. And... I should actually just bring a bunch of stuff, because I'm heading to the island. We said that last time, we're heading to the island. Should drive you over closer, but Maria, you're a big gal. I can't drive you that close, so... I want to put the Seamoth into it as well. Seamoth should be fully charged where it is Welcome now. Because obviously the power cells in my... Submarine are going to get used up like that. Uh, Cyclops engine efficiency module. That is very, very useful. None of this stuff is useful out on the road. That's all stuff that I'm gonna need at a different date, so just let's clear out all these things. Let's make sure you don't go on a road trip without being prepared, okay? Is there anything even left in this thing? Ooh, some things. Okay, I'm gonna just take you out and move you around. Um, so, I just have, oh, you're still charging my batteries, so I don't know what sound is. So you're, you're the one that's not really gonna go anywhere, I don't think anything's gonna come in here and push you. A fish might come and push this one and then I lose it, so I don't wanna lose all the materials I once had. And do I have anything in here? I really don't think I have anything in here that's useful out on the road. Fire extinguisher. We'll bring some purple tablets and... Ion crystals Just for the rare occurrence that because when I get to this island there might be some places that I can Open up there is a warp gate on the other island that I didn't get to remember the place with the giant gun that shut down my sunbeam R.I.P. sunbeam F to pay respects On that island inside the caves. I didn't actually go in there you- there's a warp gate in there that you can use a, a crystal for to get into. I can't remember where that warp gate brings you. <laughs> I think that warp gate brings you back to... That don't make any sense. Where does it fucking bring you? Bloop. Who? Nice! So I can actually put my... Seamoth upgrades in here. So I don't actually have to bring it back to my vehicle upgrade bay. That's neat. Okay, give me two seconds, Maria, and we'll get you moving. I know you're aching to go. You're aching to bake. And... These things. Oh yeah, upgrade module. Because the thing about the energy efficiency module is that it uses less energy to drive around, but then my power cells are already charging themselves, so... Engine efficiency is now 300%. So, technically, I should be able to- hold on. Technically, I should be able to go 
forever now with this. I, um, one more power cell would be nice just to fill up the... Oh, she's moving. She's moving for the first time in a long time. An extra power cell would be nice to be able to fill up the... Just the... the charger. And then we'd have two on the go every single time. Take out two, put in two, right. Um, this might not be the best way to go around this. I can't go that way. Because when I do, I get stuck. Ooh! I mean, these were in the game already before, but it's just... I don't know, man, it's nice. It's nice to be able to determine how close you are to things. Because when you're in the... When you're in the cockpit, or as I like to call it, the jack pit, it's hard to see what's underneath you. It's hard to see how close you are to things. Oh god, it's still hard to see how close I am to things. Careful now. Easy does it. You don't want to beat your Maria. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And I was- The only reason I came this way is because I was too lazy to reverse and go back the other way. Which is by far the easier method to do because the oceans are much deeper over there. But once we crest this ridge, we are fine. Sorry! Whatever that was. I don't really care because now that I'm in Maria, everything is go. All bets are off. Okay, Maria, is your arse clear? Well clear. Okay, we're going to go down a small bit. Um, what's the depth you can go to? 500 meters. Okay. Still not great because a lot of the later game stuff down by the sea treaders path and all that stuff, you're getting into like a thousand and twelve hundred. To get down into the lava zone, where is going to be a thing that we need to get to eventually, that's very, very deep. Hey, reefies! And for the people asking, no, you can't kill a reef back. They are like the one constant. You can't kill them. They can't kill you. They just float around. They're the best. They're my best friends in this game. Um, and, oh wait, I don't need to go up to see where I'm going. I can just do this. Wait, where's the island? Oh, I'm all on our space. <laughs> um, you used to be able to build bases on reef backs as well, but they took that out of the game before I even got a chance to try it out. Which is annoying, because I would have loved to put a base on a reef back. Put a little, like, de- put a little beacon in there and see where the- <laughs> See where the base actually ends up? You very easy to lose your base though. Hold on a minute. Is my energy efficiency that good? I'm still at a hundred percent. Well, what are you? Okay, uh, maybe if I sped it up? Let's see how fast she goes. Landing flanked. Emergency speed. Warning. Vessel calculated. Excessive noise. Is that a reef back? Jesus. Okay, so... Oh, now we're down to 99%. The reason you don't go at full speed most times is because you make a shit ton of noise. And here, that's when Reapers are going to start hearing you. But right now, that doesn't really bother me because there's no Reapers between here, the oh, safe shallows. Overheat. Wait, the that can happen? Oh, that's what this is. So regular speed, you can't, you can't actually overheat, but with this, emergency speed. ah, so as it says, that's emergency speed, I guess. You don't use that until you actually need to, to get away from something. Okay, there's the island. Still immensely creepy. Where, where's the beach? Where's an area I can actually get off? For some reason, whenever you look at it straight, it always looks smaller than it actually is. But it's pretty big. Okay, here we go. And don't forget the floaters. So the only reason this island is actually in the air... The other one is... I get it. The other island is actually, like, cemented to the ground. Like most islands in our world. But... This island is only floating because giant floaters are underneath it. Which I think is cool. I do not have nearly enough water for this trip. Balls to that, man. Okay. I could have just come over here and Sally. It would have been better, actually, to do that. But, 
I love my Maria! Mwah! Look at her! Big beachy goodness. Okay, we need to energy signatures on the island's surface. Surface. Um You can be another type of orange. So I want to give them all different colors. Ooh, you can kind of see the island in the distance. See there on the right? Where the clouds going over? If I turn right though, it starts to disappear. <laughs> Weird. Oh fuck, it's almost nighttime. And all these stupid head crab things are here. Okay. Okay, okay. Do this quick. Ah! Hate them. Start scanning everything here. Fuck off! This is an important island, and I need you saw as I came in that there's a base up on top. And that's my plan to get to there. This is beautiful. Oh, I got a message. Um, well, Jack's not home right now, and there's the other one. Jack's not right at home right now, so thank you for leaving a message. I will get to it when I get to it. Okay, there's a base right here. Lantern fruit. Are you edible? Ah, oh, nice. So, the best edibles are the ones that give you back water. Some edibles don't do that, so... God, you take up a lot of space. I'm just gonna eat a bunch of these so my water gets high, because I'm, I'm very low on that. But it's nice to know that I have a source here, and then I might be able to actually pick some up for later to be able to plant them. Um... Okay, I need to be careful here. Yeah, here's the- here's the grow bed! Exterior grow bed? No! I don't want one of them! Chinese potato plants! These are the best. Did I scan you? Oh, I didn't even scan this one. I only scanned the other one. Okay. <laughs> I don't need an exterior grow bed. I need an interior grow bed. I have the stasis rifle stuff. Oh, it's very, very quiet. Ah! <laughs> Jeez, oh, I have to scan the bulkhead. Stop it! Go away! This is why I brought med kits with me. And you know what? You know what we're doing? Acquired. Um, here. Fucking little shits. Where are you? Who's near me? Come here! What did I pick up? I don't know what I picked up. I picked up a fucking rock. Where are you, little shithead? Come here! Here's one. Come here. Come here, that a boy, that a boy. Bye. Have fun on Mars. Huh? Oh God, freaking out! <clears throat> Ow! Come here. Come here, you little shitbag. Bye. Okay. I need to be careful though, because I'll run out of power with this thing if I'm not careful. Um. Wait, you have a flashlight. And a PDA. I know I'm missing some PDAs as I'm going around the game. I don't mean to. Just sometimes I get caught up in the moment and I'm very well aware of how much food and water and oxygen and that kind of stuff I have. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? You know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Bart, Torgo has disembarked the habitat. That's it's cool. here when my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. No staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Hmm. So yeah, Bart Torgel was the guy who did all the plant stuff, I believe. 
into Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and this Mira, one is before the other one, by the way. Mercenary are commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had Mida salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. What? I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. Great. I'm just gonna hang out here then. <laughs> um, wall planter. I guess just scan what you can. Can I get in down here? Yay! Oh, there are purple artifacts here. Okay. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were gonna crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. So they're they're talking about the, the purple artifact I just picked up. Okay, I think that's everything in here. Oh! It's already light out! That's cool. Can I cheat the system and get up here real fast? There's two peaks on this island. One up there, it has a, a base, and one over here has the other base. And where there are bases, there are lots of very good things to scan in them. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Trying to like trying to claim a hill in Skyrim or PUBG or something. Ooh, the rocks are all falling apart. Let's do a self scan. We haven't done one of those in a while. Nothing. Okay, this is actually the way up. Why is my scan returning nothing? That's weird. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is scary. I don't like climbing these mountains. I never have. But hey, look at all the pretty shiny water. All the shaders disappear up this far. I should have- I should scan them before I do anything. You never know, they could be poisonous. And I don't like poison in my body, it hurts. Um... Okay. A land-based fungus species with harvestable spores. Inedible. Well... Fuck you then. God, the roar is far away from here. Speckled Rattler. Can any of you things have aerogel? I forget where I get that. A brittle land plant containing large spores that generate a characteristic rattle when the plant is shaken. This may act to ward off predators or even encourage pre predation as a means of spreading the spores. Could be. Okay, almost there. Yeah! Show me what you got! Okay. That's why the Chinese potato plant is so good. Because it lets you pull so many off of it, and then when you eat it, it actually gives you, like, a lot of food and water, so I just need a couple to be able to... Oh, I didn't get much. There's the other place. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. 
No predators. Fresh food. No building materials, nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is, oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight maider, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Man, mutiny was ripe, wasn't it? Uh... Eat a little bit more. Technically, I only need one to plant. And then I can take bits off the one that grows and then just plant those, so... This place was not that useful. It's always nice to have spotlights and shit, though. So all that stuff before, like spotlights and everything, I think they were just in your inventory or they, like you didn't have to get blueprints and shit for them. Don't hurt yourself. Uh oh. Oh, is this gonna kill me if I try to go down it? Oh god, oh god. A long time ago when I played the game, I think it was the first time I actually came to this island, there was no fall damage in the game. So I could run across this whole place and just leap off. As much as I wanted, and I never took any damage. It was fantastic, I loved it. <laughs> There's also some caves in this area, I think. Maybe that's where the warp gate leads. Maybe each warp gate goes to each island. That'd be handy, except if I did that now, I'd end up leaving all my stuff behind. Which I don't want. Okay, give me the good stuff. Give me, give me something amazing. That's not amazing. Ooh, water. Actually, water is pretty good. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. Oh, this is Bart. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. Ooh. They do not want us down there. Ooh. Despite my best efforts. Ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Man, that's scary. So you guys never left this island? Or that was your plan to never actually leave it? I mean, the view is nice and all, but it's not, it's no fucking, it's nothing amazing. Ooh, indoor grow bed. That's the shit I needed. That right there is the whole reason I came to this island. That is going to save our asses. That's what's going to keep us alive. If I can get an indoor grow bed going. Um, actually, I should pick up some of these as well and plant them. If I can get an indoor grow bed going and a water filtration system, then I never have to worry about that stuff again. Um, drink this water. Nice. Okay, cool. I think that's the main part of what this island has to offer. I think, anyway, I should be able to just head back to my submarine now. So next on my list after this, well, I, I should come back to this island again and explore more of it anyway. Because there's a lot to it. As I said, there's stuff inside the island. At least that's what I remember. Inventory full. Okay, cool. Wait, how did I get here? I came through a hole... ...somewhere out this way. Next on my list is to build the prawn suit. I need to go out and get some aerogel. I think that was the only thing that I didn't have so far that was needed. All the other stuff I kinda- I can find bits and pieces of it everywhere. My best source of stuff like lithium is the other island. Lead and all that stuff I can kinda find around. Look at that beautiful baby! Alright. There's so much going on in this game all the time as well. That it's easy to just be 
It's easy to bounce from thought to thought. Be gone, thought! I really hope I can actually just plant this stuff in here again. What if they remove that ability? Oh, yes. What do I need? Four titanium? I don't have four titanium! Seriously, that's all I need? That's amazing! Let's head back! Here we go, Maria! We're, we're kicking off again, but before we go... Ha <laughs> ha Oh, engines are on. Wait. While I'm here, let's go down. Oh, fuck this, man. Because this is... Where we are now is near the Grand Reef. And these areas are all super important. Like down... We're going down those holes later in the game. Right now we can't. And I actually got Maria down into one of them at one point and I was so afraid that I could never get her back out again. Really wish I had the depth meter here in front of me now. Ooh, I see a shiny. Yeah, down into these holes is some place that we are going later on. We need 194 meters. I can take Sally out in that. Okay, wait. No, 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 no. Actually, I needed to be down there. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, um, here, locker. Boom, boom. No, 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 no! Oh, f fuck! Sometimes it's left click to move stuff back and forth, like the charging stations. And then sometimes it's right click, and I keep getting mixed up every now and then and messing it up, so I ate a bunch of the stuff. As long as I have one of each, I'm fine. You're a bioreactor, right? Ooh, a thermal plant! I have that. Ooh, I can get the four pieces of titanium if I scan stuff that I already have. Didn't think about that. Now I'm thinking about that, and that's the thing I'm gonna do. See, down into the fucking... Down into the devil's anus. Ooh, it's so fucking horrible. What are you? A moon pool fragment. That'll do. Wait, I was here! You really shouldn't have your lights on anymore if I've gotten you. Oh yeah, I was here. Boo! Did I go in here though? Yeah, I think I did. God damn it. Well, there was not a fruitless endeavor. We did get our titanium. So now we can build the grow bed. And that's great. I love how fast he climbs the ladder. Um, build you right there. You know, I ain't getting much sunlight in here. That's fucking crooked and that's gonna piss me off. But it's done. Who cares? Um, get me things. Do not left click them. Keep in mind, pay attention. Nice. Nice. I am so goddamn proud of this series so far. We are making such amazing progress. This is the type of stuff that I wasn't doing until way later in the other series. I mean, obviously, because I was taking way longer to actually figure shit out and I was trying to figure out where all the places were and stuff just wasn't in the places it was supposed to be, so now it's easier to find schematics and blueprints and bits and pieces of everything because it's... It's... It's just better made. Uh, floodlights. Switch those bad babies on so we can see where we're going. They did not really help. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled. It is kind of sad that... Oh... It's kind of sad that there's nothing really left in the game to surprise me monster-wise. Like, I've kind of seen all the creatures that the game has to offer. And I would love if because I'll never get that feeling back of seeing a reaper for the first time again. Which scared the shit out of me. Because it was, it was that thing where you got into the game you're like, are there crazy creatures in this game? I don't know. And then you actually got into it and you're like, there are crazy creatures in this game. 
This is the Grand Reef, right? Where these things are? And then somewhere there's holes to go down further. I'm seeing electricity. Is that electricity? That's a wreck. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, is that the one I went to? I don't fucking know anymore. I don't know where I am. Stop it, music, you're freaky! Um, wait, what depth are we at? 194, okay, Sally can go down a bit more. Look at my baby's growing! <laughs> I'm a proud dad. So cool. So, so cool. I fucking hope so. That's where I left them. Moon pool fragments. What are you? Are you just quartz? Okay, you are just quartz. Is this the one I came to? Nope, because this isn't harvested yet. What are you? Cyclops depth module! Oh, baby, a triple! What are all these things? Scanner room fragment, I have that. Thermal plant, I have that. Membrane tree! Scan him! Don't have one of those! Okay, you have a lot of talk on you. And I am on the clock right now, so I'll come back to you in a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna bring Sally all the way down here. Because I can. And she's gonna be my rescue if I ever need to get out in a jiffy. Just remember, Sally is the yellow one! Sally is not Henry! Me! Remember that this time, you fucking gomdoogle. This is another part of the thermal plant fragment, isn't it? Yep. Okay, I don't think this place is of any use to me. Don't get chucked! Okay. Um... Anything? Do I have you? I'm pretty sure I have you. I did not! Ooh, and the grappling arm fragment, or the grappling arm upgrade is one of the more important ones for that because that saved my ass getting around the place. Not just because it got me out of danger or anything, it just saves so much time when you can grapple everywhere. Otherwise, getting around in the prawn suit is the most tedious thing in the planet. Oh no, this was the ship that caused me issues. Because I remember cutting through this door like five times. And when you have to do that, what are you? I have you already, don't I? Yeah. When you have to cut through the thing like five times, you start wasting all your oxygen trying to stay alive. So it was just annoying. Oh god, where am I? Okay, I just got you. PDA! Torgo Corporation is a long-standing family-run clan that operates almost a dozen mining and trading operations. The company's share price hit an all-time high in the announcement by the Mongolian cabal of their intention to construct a new phase gate utilizing Torgal materials. These plans were put on hold when Bart Torgal, the intended leader of the new mining operation, disappeared along with his father roughly a decade ago. A decade ago? So they were on that fucking island since a decade ago? Yeah, those, those people, by the way, the people in the... The abandoned base that I was just in, they're not like part of the Aurora ship. They're not part of my mission. They they came long, long before me. Um Just make sure I got everything. Can I open you? No. Okay, time to head out. Okay, not yet! Cyclops docking repair module. Acquired. That's new, isn't it? Oh shit, how do we get out? How do 
we get out? I can't remember how I got in. Okay, down here. Oh god. That's the scariest part, when you can't find your way back out again. Okay, Maria, I'm coming home! Wait a sec. Okay, Maria, I'm coming home! A repair module for the Cyclops. For like, the actual bay? So when I bring my thing back in here, it not only charges it, but repairs it. Systems online. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, it tells you how long ago or how long they are to grow. Neato burrito. Okay. Now we are definitely heading back to Henry because I need to. I have some upgrades that I want to see if I can build. Some stuff for the Cyclops. Upgrade modules, depth modules, that kind of stuff. And also that repair bay. Might be a pain in the ass to go repair all that or not repair, but farm all that shit, but. What are you gonna do? Sorry, jeez, I'm not even hitting anything. You hit the smallest fish and it sounds like a nuclear war is going off inside you. Hey, Reefies! I wonder does this still work? Okay, I wanna get close enough. This used to be like a little Easter egg thing. I did it before. Okay, shh. Okay, you've already made your noise. Let's see. I don't know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, that was just coincidental. And that's the thing, I don't know if it ever actually was an easter egg. That's just floating. I never knew if it was an actual easter egg that they responded, or if that was just a... If that was just a coincidental thing, like people pressed it and then they responded, it was like, THEY RESPOND! God, I hit a fish. Oh wait, shit, is this the sand dunes? THIS IS THE SAND DUNES! THAT IS A MOTHERFUCKING REAPER RIGHT THERE! Oh, peace! No! 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 No, go away! No! God, 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 fuck! Okay, exit the camera! Exit the camera! Are we- are we bleeding? Okay, emergency speed! I'm out! I'm out! I'm out! Am I- am I breached? Is this a thing that I should be fixing? Uh, repair tool! Repair tool! The glass is fucking leak and I don't like that. That means it's not fully repaired. Okay, just go. Just go. Back to Henry. Back to Henry we go. Okay, I have a bit of health gone. But it's not letting me repair the crack. I don't know what to do. Hey, Henry. How you doing, buddy? You doing good? Everybody, everybody good? Everybody happy? There's my one-legged moon pool. Um, okay, let's, let's pause you right here for a second and, can I seriously not fix any of you? Am I just, is that just gonna stay there? Or is there a hole somewhere else that I can fix? Cause that's what used to happen. Oh. Hey Sally! It used to be a thing where holes would just prop up. And then you'd fix them and it would fix the whole ship, but maybe it doesn't work like that anymore. Oh wait, 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 I, I need to take Sally out. I need to see if there's any upgrades I can build. Well, that was a successful adventure! Ooh. Nice. Okay, use planter. I can put... Two more in. And then just eat these. Okay, because that's fully grown, I'm gonna take that one out and eat this. Sweet! Ooh, very, very good, very good. Very proud of myself. Very proud of our adventures, everybody! That's you included! We all did this! All systems online. Okay, you go from one bed to another. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thanks. Feels good to be back. Now, let's see if any more stuff propped up that I can build. Pronsu grappling arm and Pronsu drill arm. Sea moth modules. Okay, so maybe... Maybe the other stuff then is in here. Here we go. Depth module mark two. I need mark one first. Ooh! 
I can make a thermal blade, so why not? Wait, where do I get Mark 1? There's no place to make a Cyclops module Mark 1. And it says I need that. Where do I build that? Either way, I need nickel ore, which I don't have, and I need kyanite. And kyanite, I know exactly where to get. Kyanite's down in the frickin' lava, isn't it? Gosh dang it! Alright, well... I'm thoroughly confused. <gasps> here we go, here we go, I forgot! I forgot to give you your name! Base color! Hell yeah. Name, that will be... Black. Interior... White, I guess. And exterior will be... Blue. Now you guys match! Big Maria and Mini Me. Oh yeah, I got a message, didn't I? What's this message say? Play it to my ears! Automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attached. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kasa. I said Kasa. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Oh Jesus. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Carrying high priority passengers. I feel like I found that place already. A lot of the life pods I just found randomly as I was going to like the Aurora and stuff. Ooh, what can I make? Waterproof locker. No. Okay, equipment. Anything new I can make? Anything worth making? This air system and the pipe and everything is such like basic level shit. Could make a stasis rifle, I guess. I need magnetite for that. I don't have magnetite. Oh. Yeah, fluid intake would be a good idea, but you know what, Cindy? I need- I, I have a job to do first. And that job is to be the world's greatest habitat builder. No, wrong buttons. <laughs> Indoor grow bed. Can I put you in a corner somewhere? I don't want to just put you in the middle of the floor. Nice. So now I have two. I need to go get some stuff off Maria and put it in there. So, while Maria will be making a bunch of them, I'll also have a spare back here. So whenever I come home, I don't have to waste the ones that I get in Maria. Welcome aboard. You know what I mean? It's called time. tactics. I still have a bleeding hole in my fucking thing. Lantern tree. Did you make one fruit? Are you just a thing that stays and keeps making fruit? I'm okay with that. I'm down with that. That's pretty cool. Fucking thing. Drive me insane. I need to fix it. Does anyone have some duct tape? Let it fix it up real nice. I like now that it says Sally. And when I get away from Maria, it says Maria. <laughs> For anyone who's new here, by the way, the reason I call it Maria is not because just I like the name or anything. It's because it's- it was Submarine Submaria. That was- that was the thing. It was very, very clever on my part. I need some bladder fishes to get the water in my body because I'm gonna die. Right, I'm gonna head to life pod 13 in a second. But another very vital thing that I want to make inside Maria that's going to be- Another thing that's the lifeblood of my whole game is a fabricator. So if I have a fabricator on the move, then I can just come in here and build all the stuff I want. So if, per se, I'm out at an island and I start getting thirsty, and the only way to get water is to either go back to a water filtration system I've built. Oh, I wonder if I could build one on Maria. Or another idea is to go back to Henry to the fabricator, but now the fabricator's here. So if I just take the stuff in the storage on Henry, and in fact, if I oh, I could make a radio here. 
If I put the radio here and take all the stuff out of storage on Henry, I technically never need Henry ever again. That's just the way things are. Um, eat one of you and- or eat two of you and plant three. Measure twice, cut once. Where am I? I'm all turned around, I have no idea where I am. Maria, I'll be back to you now in a second, don't you worry. Oh, it's getting daytime, nice. I was gonna say I need to go to bed as well. So, boom, boom, boom. Nice. Do I have any copper lying around? I surely do. There, I can build my radio now on Maria. Henry, I'm sorry, okay? Wait, can I? Oh, you can't deconstruct that one. You can't deconstruct any of these things. Do I have enough room? Hell yeah, I do. Everybody, say goodbye to Henry. Henry, we have loved you. Henry, you are the best of us. That water over there looks really, really cool with the moon pool. But Henry, we love you, buddy. But for now, our time must end. Even though I'll be coming back here because my moon pool and everything is here and my base is technically here. But I never ever need to go back into Henry ever again. It's a sad day. It's a sad day when your friends up and leave, isn't it? All systems online. Here we go. This shit is so cool as well. The fact that you can just s store your uh, sea moth in here or your prawn suit. Cool shit. And put all you guys in here. Yeah. Why do I have an acid mushroom? I don't know. The battery charger now is another thing I need to uninstall and bring up here. And then radio. Put you right there. This is all coming together. I'm so proud. Alrighty. And now... I should have put the battery charger next to the battery charger. Whatever, you can go in the corner. Efficiency of space is also a thing, but... Other things I did. Um... Desk. Oh, I can put you in, nice. Probably gonna dismantle this thing eventually, but... Now little Jack can go with us! Little Sam! And another thing I have... Oh, not in here. Is my little Rora ship. And you go. <gasps> I can't put down the Aurora ship. Why? Oh, I can't place that anywhere but the base. Well, that fucking blows. Alright, so let's kick it. Let's head on out. Where are we going? We are going All this way. Online. Well, it's a thousand meters away. Well, whatever. I wonder if there's any speed modules you can get for Sally. She's a nimble beast. Let's go through the tunnel. Ah, through the tunnel of love, Sally. Through the tunnel of love. Look at that lovely lavender glow. Aren't you happy I brought you out here, Sally? Isn't it wonderful, majestic? Whatever. Um, but you're only 175 meters down and it's faster if I just go there in Sally and then come back. I really think I've been here. But if not, we might get some tantalizing lore details. Now I don't really know what I'm doing next. I did say I was going to build a prawn suit. Guess I need a lot of stuff for that. I might start dicking with the alien stuff then after this. Really do need those depth modules though. The depth modules are really, really important because you can't progress the game unless you get the depth modules for all your gear. The prawn suit can go the deepest by default out of all the vehicles that you get, but it's still not enough to get to the the end game zones. Yeah, what are you? HR shoving stuff. Shut your mouth. Oh hey, look where we are. The second mushroom forest. It's a nice place, it's a good place. There's also an area around here that... That doesn't sound nice, that sounds like a little girl screaming. There's an area around here... 
that I think you can go down into and there's like a secret precursor alien vault and then also it was the first place I saw the electrical doodads and also the tree of life is here I always gotta be near the tree of life okay I have not been to this one whoa this is gigantic holy balls Okay, do you have any scannables? How did you guys get interrupted, huh? Did you get, you get a big hole? See, this hole was blown out. Which means something happened in here to get you out. But you had a fabricator, you had a little Fabergé egg. Whatever. Live pilot sequence initiated. Entering planetary atmosphere. My creators, the cherishers and sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. He's praying. External temperature approaching critical levels. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one. On and off and on again. Impact imminent. The universe plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. Return me. Well then, I guess we knew what happened. But again, this exploded from the inside out. Maybe he was the Hulk. Maybe he Hulk busted his way out. That's my running theory. Are you a thing? What are you? Are you just lithium? Look oh, that lithium hanging out on top. Yeah, there they are. This is the first place I went that I ever saw these creatures. And this was like way late into the series as well. I had never seen them before that. Although I think they weren't actually in the game much before that. I think they were added later on. And they freaked me out. Also, we have yet to find, um... I did say the reef backs were my favorite, be just in general, because they've been there since the start, and I just love how they sound. And they were the first creatures that I heard had like the, and I just love those sounds. Shit, we are almost at our max depth. This is where I went in the prawn suit. Shit gets scary down there, man. Let me tell you something for nothing. But we have yet to come across my second favorite creatures, which are almost my favorite creatures, which is the crab squids. I think some of them actually dwell down here. And the only reason I like them so much is they look weird and they look scary, but the sounds they make are the best sound in the whole game. And they did a really good job designing the sounds for them. I have an angel singing in my ears. What the fuck is that? What? Is that the ghost leviathan? Holy fuck! Whoa, that's cool! Have I seen one of them? Did I see one of them in the lava zone? Dude, this music is baller! God, they're fucking scary! You're spazzing out there, though. Are you okay? You're like all over the place. This music going along with this is so cool. Now come back closer so we can see your shiny shine. Does the shine turn off, or is it just because I'm far away from him? Oh, what am I doing, tempting fate like this? But he doesn't have any like grabber hands on the front, like the other Reaper, to come up and like attack me. I want to follow him. I want to see his glowy shine. And he seems to be swimming away instead of getting closer. Yeah, it is just because I'm far away. Oh, are you luring me to my death? What sounds do you make? That's what I'm most curious about. Sounds are a big deal to me. What's happening? Oh, 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 oh god. Oh, this is a mistake, wasn't it? Hi! Hi, big beautiful boy! Uh-oh. 
Are you are you coming? Oh, are you coming for for? Ooh. Oh, it's coming for me! Oh, it's coming for me! Oh shit! Yeah, fuck! Okay, I didn't know if you were actually coming for me there for a minute. Oh my god, I'm at 49 health already. Okay, do not tempt fate. Fate will come back and bite you in your hairy ass. Oh, but that was cool. He was awesome. Okay, don't go too deep because I'll buckle my own fucking ship. As soon as I get away from creatures, I need to get out and heal. Oh, man. <sighs> well, just after I saying, oh, there's no new creatures in the game. There's nothing left to scare me. Boom! Subnautica slaps you in the ass. You're never safe around Subnautica. It always has something up its sleeve. That was so cool. Hey, Reefies. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna leave this episode of Subnautica here. Also, great progress on this episode. We finally got to the island and got... I'm pretty sure I got all the information I need to get out of there. I will go back to the island eventually to get more stuff. Now, I just need to figure out... The next episode is an annoying episode because I need to figure out how I get all these upgrade modules. I need to figure out the stuff needed to make the... Prawn suit, all that kind of stuff. And that's all, like, farming type stuff, so... More, it, it might not be huge progression, but you know, who knows? Maybe we'll find a place to go that we can see some cool shit. Because this episode, I didn't think I was going to see the ghost leviathan. That was pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And... Hi, Faisal. Hello. Whoosh! Whoosh! Thank you guys, I will see all you dudes! FDA! The only true constant in my life at this point is you, Sally, and also Maria, but mainly you, Sally. <laughs>